Hello everyone and welcome to a very rainy day here on the Radcliffe Deerly Farm and our 101 Dalmatians challenge here in Sims 3 with all expansion packs and quite a bit of custom content and one very hungry horse literally running into our front yard. Rai, you were supposed to be, I mean, this, yeah, this is Rai. I was going to freak out if this was just like some random wild horse that decided to run into our front yard, but he is supposed to be over at the animal rescue. So it's really weird to see him over here. I have no idea what he's doing here, but it is a rainy, beautiful day. And Terry does actually need to get up and take good care of the horse and the dogs and everything else that unfortunately have fallen upon the poor orphan shoulders in running his family farm. What a challenge, truly. But hello everyone and welcome back and actually the first thing that we are going to be working on today is trying to help our two soon to graduate teenagers not to flunk out of high school. I don't think that Terry actually cares if he flunks out of high school. His homework is apparently outstanding but his performance is really low and he's got a D. I think he I think as terrible as it sounds, Terry does strike me as kind of a solid D student because he has been kind of orphaned the majority of his uh, teenage years. He had to take on running the entire household with Tisha's help. I mean, he's had siblings being kidnapped by their alien mothers or running away to the big city left and right. He's been trying to run the animal sanctuary that his parents started before they left. He's been trying to take care of the Dalmatians. It's been a lot on his shoulders. I think he's more a man who works with his hands and less with his mind per se and doesn't really have time to pay attention to the homeschooling program that the children are part of. So I don't think it's surprising that he actually is a solid D student. I think it's surprising that he even is above an F to be completely honest. But I know that he does want to try to pull his grades up because he knows that Tisha wants to pull her grades up. And Tisha, who is dreaming here of preparing breakfast, might kind of turn her mind towards more family-oriented things because she was originally hired in the family and given a safe home away from her chaotic family for the sake of being the family nanny and she kind of feels like she unexpectedly inherited the mothering role of the household after her idol the role model of her life um ended up being kidnapped or like disappearing she was so devastated when roger and anita disappeared because she really looked up to anita radcliffe dearly as kind of like the put together mom she never had and the role model that she really wanted to have in life. So of course she's busy dreaming about cooking, but she has recently realized that she kind of wants to be the zoologist. She really wants to become a vet. And so I think it's, it's going to be really fun to kind of try to help anger her towards becoming a veterinarian or becoming a animal researcher in some way. I think she would definitely do maybe wildlife rehab. That's what I think she would participate in. There's actually a custom veterinarian career on Mod The Sims 3 that I want to download and install for her. But I don't think it makes a lot of sense to allow a young woman with solid D grades to enroll in some sort of vet or wildlife rehab program and end up getting a job like that. So that is why Tisha needs to try to get her grades up. If it turns out that our homeschooling mod is completely broken and I cannot get her grades up, we'll just pretend that never happened and she got into like some sort of very generous community school program and we'll probably still give her the career in the future. I'm debating it, but we might actually end up having her earn her money as a wildlife biologist or like a wildlife rehab rehabilitationist by collecting and selling minor pets. And we might just say that she has to keep at least 20 minor pets alive and cared for over here at the animal sanctuary that they need to build up and then maybe that'll be her job so it'll be kind of like a pretend at home uh, sort of job that she works over here as the wildlife rehabber um, and we'll just sell the minor animals that she can find as a way of as a way of um why are there so many giant horse 
play balls all over my yard. What is going on over here? Don't we only have one of these? How do we have them all scattered around the yard over here? This is very distracting. Get back over there, all of you. What on earth? Rai, what have you been doing with your day? What a confusing horse. But anyway, we'll see how that works out. Because originally I was going to have her take on that vet job from Mod The Sims 3 and like disappear during the day and then use the funds to kind of run our animal sanctuary. But I'm beginning to think if it might be better just to like pretend that she runs a wildlife rehab program here. So maybe their grades don't matter, but we're going to just try to pull her grade up today. That's kind of our goal. So we're going to start that by going ahead and getting Tisha up. And it turns out, and she also needs to clean up the mess that her pet parakeet has made in the room. It turns out, by the way, guys, if you have the NRAS mod and if you are using the homeschool portion of the NRAS mod, then to get your Simleys who are homeschooled to increase their grade, you need to turn in their 100% completed homework before 10 in the morning. So you need to come over to the computer and you need to, uh, I think, download homework in order. Like, I think it's download homework report. Let's try that out first. And then if you do that before 10, that's what's supposed to affect your grade. So let's go ahead and pull Terry down here. He kind of wants to clean things up, but he promised Tisha that he would try to pull his grades up too in solidarity. And he hates computers because he just really prefers working with his hands. So we're going to have him come down. Uh, would it be homework report? Let me check. Neighborhood pets to adopt. No, thank you. That's interesting. So why does she have the homework report and he doesn't? Oh, well, I'll have him come over and try downloading his homework and we'll see what happens with these two. Also, who the heck was that? Oh, it's just Andrea. She was freaking me out looking a little bit different, but we're going to just let Andrea go ahead, go upstairs and continue painting her painting. There we go. And I know it's been a little while since we've been able to really focus and kind of work on the animals. So I'm actually just going to see if this works. And if this doesn't, we're going to completely ignore the whole they're felling high school thing and just focus on expanding the family farm and expanding the animal rescue sanctuary that they want they want to run and we'll say that Tisha just like ends up getting her wildlife rehab program uh let's see bad good grant i have no idea what that means oh her homemaker report that wasn't homeworker report i feel or like homework report i feel so embarrassed all right never mind uh let's see Download homework and let's see if that affects her grade. So it's before 10 in the morning. I don't care about the town he's falling in love. She has submitted her latest homework assignment and downloaded a new one. Wait, does she like have to? Okay, it's still a D. All right, we're going to have her do her homework this morning. I'm kind of testing the mod out a little bit, but I am this close. I am just the skin of my teeth close to just throwing my hands up in the air and saying, you know what, forget it. And just having my Sims focus on running the animal sanctuary and taking care of the Dalmatians because our two little Dalmatians, I think I, the age, uh, origin updated, sorry about this guys, origin updated and reset my animals times. Puppies are only supposed to be puppies for a maximum of five days. Thank you very much. They're supposed to, and dogs are supposed to be elders long lifespan and then puppies are puppies for five days. Elders are elders for... 30 days. There we go. Where's that put everybody? Ah, oh, that makes these dogs grow up like right away. Pongo and Perdita still have a little while. That actually is pretty appropriate. Okay. Sorry. I'm still tweaking some things. Uh, yes. Change their age span. Meredith. Rumors have it that Meredith ran away so that she could go, go disappear with somebody that she fell in love with. But we know that's not true. She actually is in the big city. And then Terry. Yeah. Now his homework is D. Okay. This is my last attempt at figuring out this homework mod. And if this doesn't work, then we're just 1000% focusing on the dogs, the farm and the animal sanctuary, which is what I want to do anyway. But the reality is that these guys are teenagers and that does still affect their life and dictate some of what they end up spending their days doing to some extent. These two girls, Andrea and Meredith, don't really care if their grades suck right now because they're a lot younger than Tisha and Terry. Tisha and Terry are the ones who are about to graduate. And I just feel like it's practical that at least one of them needs to have a high school diploma. You know what I mean? And I don't think Andrea needs a high school diploma. Look at this painting. 
what the heck? I've never even seen this before. Andrea doesn't need a high school diploma because she's just going to become like a master painter. I can't even believe that. All right. Well, I've got to keep an eye on these two until they finish their homework, uh, unfortunately. And Emma is over there like dying of hunger. So we'll send her into the kitchen. I think we still have some of her birthday cake that she can actually eat. So we'll have, oh no, her birthday cake is gone. We will have some juice. I think she prefers things. And she's Meredith over here. <laughs> Emma, we have so many girls and they all look the same to some extent. But Emma does want to grow up and become a international sport super spy which i think would be so cool so she and her brother might actually start going jogging in the morning once they sort of get comfortable with the grade thing i i don't know i kind of just want to forget that they're even homeschooled at all you know what i mean why even worry about it at this point and if i can't get the mod working today then that's literally what we're going to do we'll just focus on raising the stray animals we'll focus on the gardening we'll focus on catching wild animals and we'll adopt out some of the animals that we can rehab, which we haven't even started doing that yet, as a way of promoting our our animal rescue. And I do think if we adopt out like our first animal, yay, we can hire a assistant, which we could make one of you guys maybe in a live stream, and they could become our assistant on the animal rescue farm, or like on the animal sanctuary, so not on the farm. Uh, okay, let me explain what I'm talking about for just a second before we go over and try to take care of the animals. My idea is pretty much at this point to kind of abandon the kids schooling and just say that they didn't really have a very good education and that's always going to make things a little bit more of a struggle for them. So what they're going to do instead is they're going to work with their hands and they're going to bring in the rescue animals to the animal sanctuary. And then what we do with the rescue animals is we try to take good care of them. Oh, Rai is upset because of the lightning. Oh, we'll take care of him in just a second. So instead of being inside slaving away at school assignments that none of these kids really particularly care about except maybe Emma because she knows being really great at grades and logic and things like that are going to help her with her aspiration to search space for her missing sister Lyra. Man, we have so many stories going on in this family. It's amazing. I cannot wait to get my wiki and my website up so those of you who are new can figure out what the heck I'm talking about. Kidnapped alien sisters who have alien sisters who are lost in space and Emma wants to grow up to become a spy to sneak into a space agency and go searching for her sister for Whew, what a mouthful anyway back to the animals i think that tisha and terry are like this close just the, like a couple tiny little hairs close to just giving up on their schooling and only working with their hands i do think if we don't increase their grades though then i'm going to have to take the penalty of not being able to decide their adult trait which is going to possibly really mess with their personalities and we would have to work really hard to get the lifetime reward points to change their personality in order to feel like we got back on track with them but i think that makes sense you do lose out some opportunities by not taking good care of your education and unfortunately due to circumstances that's kind of what's been happening with tisha also we have such a mess look at this look at this chaos pepper the cat is destroying the newspaper that perdita is peeing on that basil is stinky from oh my goodness this is a mess all right well let's have her come down here and we're going to have her download her homework again and this is going to be our last attempt so it's before 10 in the morning she should be able to turn her homework in, and so should Terry. They should be able to turn their homework in, and if they do it before 10 in the morning, it's 100% complete, it's done, then they should get a grade boost. And if this doesn't work, we're just going to accept that something in the recent updates has broken this, and when a child is homeschooled, <laughs> they're kind of doomed to have bad grades in the game. Uh, and it makes a lot of sense for these ones in particular. All right, he downloaded his assignment, he got a new one, and it's busted. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they just need to do it before 10 
Is that the way it is? Okay, we won't have her download the homework. I give up. Terry's done with this. I think he's done. Maybe he's clicking on something wrong and it's making just the technology side of things absolutely chaotic. He's going to just like rush into the restroom. Well, that's Tisha's restroom and I feel like he would really respect that. So he'll come over to this restroom. Tisha won't turn in her homework and we'll see if that affects anything. <laughs> Maybe just having it done before 10 in the morning is what works. Who knows? We're going to have Tisha just put on her normal clothes and she's just going to go ahead and make some breakfast. She's going to clean up after Emma and she's going to serve some breakfast because she knows that at least is something she can do. It's uh, yeah, it's still breakfast time and she makes pancakes whenever her nerves are jangling because that is what Anita Radcliffe dearly her role model mother used to make in the mornings. So, and Terry, you probably need to put on some clothes. I think that Tisha would kind of blush a bit to see him walking around without his clothes on. All right, so yeah, I think Tisha would kind of avoid him because she'd be shy like, Terry, you need to put on some clothes because they are kind of starting to fall in love. In fact, they are very much so in love. They've been through a lot together, but they're still teenagers. All right, so now that that chaos is done, I know the grades are just kind of foo-fa that I can't even deal with. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. I think the homework mod is just broken for NRAS, unfortunately. That might be my fault. I'll look into it. Um, if you guys know a way to cheat the homework up in NRAS, please do let me know. But we now officially will no longer be paying attention to homework and schooling for the Radcliffe Dearly Children. Hooray! Huzzah! I can hear the cheers right now <laughs> because now we can focus on doing some more interesting things than watching a bunch of orphans try to pretend they know how to do schoolwork when really they're they're kind of dropouts to be completely honest. All right, so we really got to get her a new umbrella. I feel like you know what? I feel like Terry maybe would see that. Um, like Tisha has a broken umbrella. I feel like he kind of might see that, and we'll, we're gonna have him go and buy her a new one today. I think that would be a really sweet thing to do. But first he's going to step outside and he's gonna see there's like so much that needs taken care of and cleaned up that the animals have destroyed. So we're gonna have him go ahead and recycle and put away all of this trash. He's gonna kind of be like sighing, but <laughs> what the heck happened here? <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. I didn't know that could happen. Oh, that's such an awkward teenager thing to do. Just trying to get your clothes on for once and then you just sprawl onto the living room floor. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, Terry's okay. That's really funny. Andrea has just completed. I can't, you have not missed an assignment. Oh my gosh. I swear. I don't even know. I don't even know how to, we're just going to forget about it. We're just going to forget about it. All right. And this is ridiculous. <laughs> Andrea, what are you even doing with this painting? <laughs> what can she even do? Okay. She wants to master the painting skill. She wants to decorate the house with 15 of her paintings. And she also wants to master the writing skill. Well, we're going to have her go ahead and just sell this painting now. Because I feel like she would look at it and she'd be proud of the techniques she learned. But that just doesn't fit the house at all. And she kind of knows it. And we are going to have her work on actually making some... Oh, look at all that money. Oh, what's this? Congratulations. Andrea has been conferred the new title of Paintbrush Patsy by the town council in recognition of her valuable contributions to the workforce. So I guess she's doing commissions. Yeah, she's just been like, never mind. Who needs schooling when I'm just going to take on custom commissions from the beginning? um let's see wow she she kind of shot up the list are you employed andrea is that what's going on here oh she is employed i had no idea all right well she is employed as a uh artist so we're gonna go ahead and have her paint a medium painting and she's going to just kind of wait until a delicious breakfast has been whipped up and then yeah she's super happy because she's technically been promoted so she's clearly getting some recognition who the heck needs actual schooling i feel like tisha would feel really bad about this and kind of be thinking one day when i have kids they are definitely going to be able to get their schooling they're not going to be so intimidated by it i feel like tisha is the only one in the family who's really kind of self-conscious about this terry is so done with this the school with a spelled with a K <laughs> sort of stuff and he just wants to work with his with his bare hands. So alright, he's gonna run out. 
start cleaning up the mess that the dogs made and unfortunately that's just like the first thing we have to take care of i swear that this this little cushion here is just permanently booby trapped and then what is emma doing i think emma is bathing until clean uh, apparently she was taking care of the dogs, I guess. That's pretty cool. She wants to improve her piano skill, her painting skill. Oh, and she likes little Castor. And I think Castor is actually going to grow up today. Oh, and she's about to be sniffed by the cat who's curious about her. And Basil is stinky. Um, we're going to go ahead and have her help out with Basil because Emma is kind of responsible. And Pollux and Castor are about to grow up. And what happens when our puppies that we can sell grow up is that we actually can sell the Tiberium pieces that have been cut into clusters. That's going to be really confusing for those of you guys who are not familiar with The Sims 3. But there's a gemstone called Tiberium. And if you get it cut, so you take the raw gemstone and have it cut into a cluster, then you can put it in the yard and it grows into a beautiful crystal cluster that sells for close to 40,000 simolonians so that's a lot of money also Raya is running around in circles and basil refuses to be bathed we're getting there so i think that terry come on buddy he's cleaned up after the animals now he will see that rye seems pretty upset from all of the all the rain and let's have him come over and take care of rye so rye wants to socialize with nissa wants to sniff emma wants to reach level four of the jumping skill wants to meet another pet uh but i think we're gonna have terry come over and take care of him affection talk to you affection rub neck care let's go ahead and brush and and clean the horse so yeah okay this was our our like high school dropouts episode basically where we officially just say that all of the Radcliffe dearly children have basically dropped out of high school. Emma is going to learn how to forge documents. We might get her, um, <laughs> we actually might work on getting her skill up when it comes to writing so that she can forge documents and just pretend she went to high school. There we go. And we're taking care of the horse and Terry's just done with all of the schooling and he wants to just take good care of upgrading things around the house and learning how to catch minnows and taking care of the, the animals on the farm. He's just done with everything else and he does want to try to become closer friends with Andrea so that Andrea doesn't run off like the rest of the family kind of has. <laughs> I definitely think that's a, a big goal that she's got. Or let's see. React to wet dog. Emma meanwhile is getting drenched by the dogs. What the heck is this next to the toilet? Since when do we have a gnome? <laughs> like hanging out, a summer gnome hanging out next to our toilet. Who knows? What a unique household this is. All right, Emma, you can go ahead. Why don't you go ahead and shower? She's just going to clean off in here. She's kind of taken over the clo like this barn, honestly. She really has taken over their father's old workshop. Uh, she's kind of claimed it as her own, and she's actually going to be the one to research the gemstones so that we can cut the Tiberium into a crystal spiral cut which again is going to be confusing to you guys so just wait until we do it and then you'll understand but she's going to be researching gemstones because she knows that the aliens fuel their spaceships with special gemstones and metals so even from this young age just barely a teenager she is going to be researching these things so that she can try to understand what they use to fuel their rocket ships so one day she can steal a rocket ship from area 51 in the sims world and she can fly into space looking for her sister so she's gonna be the one to research gemstones so she can cut them we can put them in the yard they can grow and then we can sell them when we sell pollux and castor to the aliens who terry actually made an alliance with last time Ugh. i definitely need just a quick frequently asked questions reference that i can give to anybody who's new and like siri what is happening when it comes to this uh this entire family because it's amazing all right, we're going to go ahead and kind of tidy Rye up. We still need to raise Rye's skills a little bit. We need to... Your horse requires more relationship to saddle or ride them. Your horse received uh, a price... And so he'll receive a price penalty if we try to sell him. So we need to train him and we do need to change one of his traits so that he will no longer be quite so noisy. So how much more lucky amount. Riders of this horse are often showered with good luck. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. 
Uh, Atomic Grazer, gain the ability to graze on any surface. Friend of the Herd, wild horses are attracted more often. That would be really cool. Oh, and Garden's Delight. That would be so fun to have. Make your stalls as eco-friendly as possible. Fertilizer from box stalls are always from the highest quality. I forgot that we could do that. Desert Pony. Uh, equine Zen. There's so many cool horse skills to have, including the attitude adjustment, which is what we're kind of shooting for. So we'll work on that in the future. And let's go ahead and have Terry... Uh, should he go over? I think he's going to go in and get breakfast now that we've taken care of the basics of the horse. But okay, we're officially high school dropouts now, guys. Still not entirely sure how I feel about that, but it is the truth. And it looks like Tisha has already eaten... And she's come out with her broken umbrella. Yeah, and, and he's had his hooves cleaned for the first time. Thank goodness. And she's actually going to harvest the eggs and feed the chicks. And now that they've accepted that they're... She's such a nurturing personality, isn't she? Oh, Tisha. The farm is just too busy. It's too much for the kids to handle while trying to be in school at the same time, I think. So it makes a lot of sense to me. All right, hang on. Uh, headline effects on there we go hey hey puppy <laughs> perdita <laughs> you're ruining a really pretty picture because perdita come on all right well that's okay there we go there we go we're going to go ahead and just let them admit that the farm needs their attention and i think that tisha's realizing she gets more satisfaction out of taking care of wild minor pets instead so that's what we'll work on i have no idea where tisha's going She's upset because maybe the road is flooding. Who knows? <laughs> we'll just have to kind of keep an eye on everything. Uh, and she's off to feed the chickens. So, all right. And then upstairs, our little painter. Wow. Holy moly. Like, why does Andrea not let up when it comes to being so talented on her art? But that painting... that paint, This painting with the, the beautiful bird on it, I think we're going to have her give it to Tisha. And Tisha can put it in her room next to her parakeet, who's hopefully still alive. So I think that'll work out. All right, we've got the kids on a good track, I think. Also, what's this? Ask to leave room. What? Tisha? <laughs> Tisha? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. Tisha, come on. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just admit the kids are now, Tisha, Tisha, I know that was quite shocking, but be careful when you're swinging that umbrella, please. All right, we're gonna admit the kids are high school dropouts now, and now that we can just get that behind us, next time we will focus on the animals, we will focus on taking care of the animal sanctuary, and we will have a good time about it. The kids are ready to grow up pretty soon, only a few more days left before they are adults. In fact, there should only be five more days, so I'll treat the aging a little bit more, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.